Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Summer. How are you guys doing today? I am really excited to be back with you guys this week to give you guys that energy update. Um, I know I wasn't here last week. I had some things going on in my personal life that I had to attend to. So I'm really excited to be back this week. I also want to remind you guys that if you're ever looking for clarity in your own personal life, please make sure to always check the Wizio link in the description box below so that you can always book a service with me. So let's get started right into today's video before I let you guys know I really did feel called today to channel in bringing in the clear quartz the smoky quartz as well as our um, amethyst amethyst is really good for intuition as we know um, we do have a new moon in Virgo on September 6th or 7th depending on where you are in the world today I felt called to pull from five decks um, we have tarot moonology an angel oracle deck we have affirmations deck as well as an angels answers deck and we got a lot of clarity this week and i'm really excited today to break it down for you so the first tarot card that we did get is going to be the eight of pentacles and this is telling me that there is dedication there's commitment there's it's like when you look at this person they are building something so if you feel like there's an opportunity for you to build your wealth there's, there's a new avenue that you're wanting to dibble and dabble into to create then i think that this would be a really great week for you to start to do that so or this is going to be a great week to work on those things that you already started because as you guys know um in the last couple of energy card readings it was like it was the time of ignition right because you were in that leo energy that fire energy of starting something so for those who did start in leo season i feel like you continuously building on whatever that is when it comes to your money it is going to manifest successfully for sure and I, I feel that more so honestly for the next six months because we do have a Virgo new moon right so if you want to set an intention on you know what you're building on if it's your wealth um, anything like that that you're building for yourself I think that's going to be a great intention to set so that you could really see its fruition by the full cycle of that moon so the next card that we did get is the Queen of Cups. And this is a great card to receive because this is telling me that there is emotional support here. It's like a mothering, nurturing energy. So if you are going through something in your life or if you know someone who is, um, this is a great time for you to see that support right now for someone to enrich you and to remind you that all is well. Because when we look at the Queen of Cups, you know, she's really sitting with abundance. I know there's a lot of blue here. So uh, I'm going to say throat chakra energy is something else that i am feeling so you know definitely reach out to people that you feel like can use your support during this time and also reach out to people if you need support as well so that's what i feel with this queen of cups energy the third card that we did get in tarot is the page of swords and so tarot the swords is air sign right so when i see this i also see someone who is curious i also feel like to someone who wants to explore um i i always say the page is like the starter right so think about what it is that you do want to start if you didn't start something in that leo season okay i i feel like the page is telling us that there is a way and we can find it we just have to be curious we have to be inspired um let's communicate more with people let's bounce our ideas off others okay so i definitely feel like mental clarity is coming in uh for that so you know focus that's the best word i want to say when i feel this card is like focus um when i see the page of swords and the last tarot card that we did get is the ace of swords and this is a beautiful card to see also because the ace of swords lets me know that it's a breakthrough okay so whatever you have been challenging if it is a financial challenge um and you've had to talk about having support around that but then you're also being excited because you're more focused now on how you want to build your wealth what you want your wealth to look like this ace of swords is here to tell you this week that you will have a breakthrough okay so i want you to even right now affirm those words i'm experiencing a breakthrough this week or i have experienced a breakthrough this week you know maybe even speaking in the past tense so you could get in the vibration that it's already done right so look forward to your breakthrough also i find this it's like a decision is made like something has been done right it's finalized right so um get excited with this ace of swords honestly because i think a breakthrough is something we all can really use right now 
at the bottom of the deck the energy that we don't see coming and it's kind of funny because this is kind of like virgo energy but we did get the hermit card right so the hermit is someone who goes inward who has more inner standing of themselves so if you feel really called to rest definitely do so because also at the bottom of that we got the nine of swords so someone is up at night a bit anxious um losing some sleep uh a lot of mental chatter going on at night time okay so i definitely feel that but this hermit is telling you to use your intuition to use your powers from within to have discernment but to also just be more quiet this week uh you know keeping your head down more so because you are planning you are building right you're getting things done so that's what i feel from our tarot reading I know this week we have a new moon in Virgo, so I did pull some monology for us and I made sure to ask it, you know, what is the energy that we can expect as a collective for this beautiful new moon in Virgo? And the first card that we did get is South Node, which is don't let your past hold you back. So I really believe that this is important because this is a time of evolution. This is a time of taking leaps like i think we're changing like okay think about this we're changing season right so we are we are having that transition period right now and we also have retrograde coming so i really think this energy is saying whatever choices you make don't look back on those choices just make them and and just look forward um because the choices that you make are going to come from your intuition the choices you make will come from being in your hermit mode but don't let your past hold you back from whatever choice you do want to make. Don't let anyone's limiting talk or even past experiences, right, of failing maybe hold you back from taking that leap on that business, taking that leap on that new avenue of income in your life, okay? Don't let past failure, past lack of mentality hold you back from moving forward to what you know you deserve and are destined for. So the next card that we did get, and I love to see this, we got it in the full moon in Virgo, and it says you are good enough, and it's green. This is definitely heart chakra space too. I feel like these two is a heart chakra um, card as well. This could be for like a little bit of throat too, but I love to see the full moon in Virgo because as I just shared with you guys prior to even pulling that card is that... You want to start something in a new moon that you want to see fulfilled within that full moon cycle of that sign, right? So I was just sharing with you guys within the next six months, because that's when we will experience the full moon in Virgo. What is it that you're building now that you're being that you're supporting, that you're being focused on that will have a breakthrough, will be successful? What is that thing that you want? Because you are good enough to have it. Okay, that's what the card uh, tells us. So just remind yourself that you're worthy. You know, I am worthy of having the things I desire. I am good enough to have the things I desire, just as I am. At the bottom of the deck, it says to, in the full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. So I feel like, you know, again, with don't let your past hold you back. It's like, I want you to go within yourself this week and ask, you know, what in my life is actually draining in any way shape or form i don't care if it's a thought that you keep having i don't care if it's a person that you keep communicating with i don't care if it's an opportunity um that's coming to you if it doesn't feel good drop it and i know that's like hard sometimes but it can be really simple to do um so look at this time look at that purple i love that um so it's a time to release negativity purple is also amethyst so again intuition feel your way through it um it's not going to be a logical choice and it's not going to be to be an emotional choice the choice is simply going to be from intuition so flow with that okay um and ask the support of your guides to show you signs as well okay um so that's what we did get for our moonology deck so we're going to move into our angel oracle and the first one that we did get is truth okay so this week a truth will be revealed to you um something will show itself to you so that you know you could dictate if you want to keep it in your life or if you don't want to keep it in your life okay so when the tr you know how they say the truth shall set you free so it's like when you are shown something, see it for what it is and let it be. You know, I, I definitely feel like um, that's something we all can hear. So just make a choice, right? Make the choice after you have found out your truth about it and go for it, okay? Don't look back after you've made that choice. The second angel card that we did get is also to believe in your dreams. 
And I love this because it's, again, reminding us with that full moon in Virgo, it's like you are good enough if you believe in your dreams, you know? If you believe you could build something, if you believe that it's going to come into fruition, even though it may not be in your hands right now, if you believe that you can be that person that you are excited to become, because at the bottom of the deck, we did get infinite potential. So it's like... Look at that four and one, five change. So it's like, um, this is an opportunity for you to see your infinite potential, but it's like potential is great, but it's like, what do you want to be, right? You shouldn't always, it's like, yes, it's potential, but you have to actually make it fulfilled. So fulfill that potential by finding out your truth, by believing in your dreams, by building what you need to build on when it comes to your wealth, when it comes to your ideas, because this is earth sign energy. Yeah, we have some um, cancer energy here too. I mean, water energy. But, um, you know, so I feel like clear, like, I know this is mental energy. Look, look at that. We have the mind and the heart. But then uh, guides is telling us, go within, you know, use your intuition instead. I love that. It's so, you can't make this stuff up. So the next deck that we are going to be pulling from is our affirmations deck. And the first card that I did pull is magic i love seeing this card this is one of my favorite cards to see in this deck and i'm going to read it out for you guys and it states i believe in magic i see evidence of it all the time and though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary i'd rather not ruin the fun other people can fill their days with mere coincidence i'll fill mine with holy crap that's unbelievable like i i love seeing that card because it's really letting us know like we are magicians we are surrounded by magic all the time you know we can't necessarily explain how a plant goes from a seed to a plant I and mean, like yes we can scientifically explain it but we can't at the same time if you get what i mean right it's like the things that are not seen the things that can't be explained our intuition right so flow with that you know, remember that you can create, just say it and believe in it, you know, because it is your potential. The next one that we did get is gentleness. Um, that was our second one. And it states, I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align with the gentle, gentlest part of myself and I take joy in being receptive, open and un unafraid. I am like a baby deer who's best friends with the baby elephant. The baby elephant wraps its little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass, daydreaming and talking about what sorts of humans the clouds look like. <laughs> I love that. And that gentleness, I feel, is coming from that Queen of Cups and that's blue energy. Again, throat chakra. Um, it's like, be gentle right now. This is not a time of arguing. This is not a time of aggression. This is a time of calmness that's what i feel when i saw that card so be gentle when you talk to people because we don't know what anyone is going through but we do know collectively it feels a lot right now so give what you want to receive when it comes to kindness and someone being gentle and honestly gentleness is like the cure to almost everything i feel when it comes to relationships uh communication with someone else it's like the more gentle you could be the better honestly the third one that we did get in our affirmations deck is wander it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder, and when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. And I love that because it's like, even if it's maddening what I'm viewing, I'm going to laugh it off. So it's like, Always be in the state of wander, even when things are in transition, because I did say with you guys, we are in transformation. We don't know where we're going, but we know what we're leaving behind that is comfortable, that we may want to latch on to, right? But guides is saying, don't let your past hold you back. Be in the state of wander, even though things are like this. You don't know what's coming, right? But that's great because you don't know. It's like possibilities of things that you can't even imagine. So be in that state of wandering about all the abundance that can happen for you, right? So I think uh, this week is really good. <laughs> I'm really excited for this energy. 
And the last affirmations card that we did get is letting go. And it states, I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around. And also grudges aren't a great look. So this week, uh, I feel that again, with don't let your past hold you back, as well as it's time to release negativity. I feel like that's where that goes. Um, also letting go with that hermit card. Again, anything in your life that feels heavy, that's disrupting your peace, let it go, okay? Like, and move on um, because the universe is really telling us that's what we must do right now in order to see that fulfillment, in order to see that breakthrough this week, okay? So let go of something. Um, it could be clothes. It could be anything. You just let something go to create space for something great to align to your life okay guys and at the bottom of the deck we did get spontaneity it states do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber the only acceptable answer to this question is yes so buckle up charlie you're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored unconventional and underrated you're about to learn that yes is a magic word with with the power to unlock new dimensions in space, time, and after-hour hangouts. Yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mullet. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Um, say yes more. Look at all this blue. Okay, throat chakra. It's like say yes more to the things that excite you. Even though it's unknown, just say yes. Let, I, I, I could go into a whole thing, but I'm honestly where I am right now here with you guys, being on YouTube, doing what I love to do because I said yes to so many things that I didn't even think would bring me here. It's like when I look back now, I could count the dots, but at that time I couldn't count them forward. You know, so I said yes to everything, even though at that time I was like, this is not what I, this is not the perfect thing I asked for, but I still was given it, you know? So say yes when you receive something. It may not be exactly what you want this week, right? But say yes to it. Um, yeah, just say yes this week to something that you didn't think you would, you would say yes to, okay? And the last deck that I did pull from in our weekly reading is the Angel Answers deck. And the first one that we did get is to be assertive, okay? So I believe this is where that sword energy is like, just make a choice and stick with it and decide, right? So be assertive with your choice and just make it. Um, I'm hearing Tony Robbins in my ear right now, just make your move uh, because he says it only takes about 30 seconds. Um, I'm sorry, it only takes about three seconds to make a decision. So just make your move, make your choice and stick with it and trust that it's exactly the choice that you need to make. Another great affirmation that you can say if you deal with that, um, battle of did i make the right choice or not you can say this affirmation i make the best decisions for me okay, okay say that again i make the best decisions for me because you do there's no right or wrong it's just left or right you know so just remind yourself that it's no right or wrong it's just i'm going left or i'm going right and that should make you feel a little bit more easy because you could never get it wrong okay i just want to remind you guys that and the last one that we did get, of course, is listen to your intuition. I spoke about this with you guys with that um, Virgo energy. This is the time to listen to your intuition. It's not going to come from your head. It's not going to come from your heart. It's going to come from within you, right? It's going to come from this hermit energy of inner standing, of seeing what it is, you know, just evaluate your life right now and look at the details that's what i feel with this virgo energy look at the details in your life look what is like yes no yes no okay letting go is a no part but the spontaneous the wander is yes okay it's really good and for anyone out there if you had a you know a timeline or if you had a question really regarding this week um the answer is unlikely for some okay so or, or whoever this really resonates with uh the card is unlikely but also underneath that it says perfect timing and then look underneath that we got there's something better 
okay so you may have to let something go because it's unlikely to work out but trust that in perfect timing you will receive something better in replacement of that because again guys we never lose anything tony robbins always taught me loss is an illusion okay so you never really lose anything and you always gain so this is the energy of this week let me know what you guys think about this card reading this week because i feel really really good about it and let me know which card that you most resonate with in this card reading so i love Love you guys so very much and i will see you guys in the next video i continue to send all my love my light and my grace to you bye bye